Was they can get in there. See? That's a good in there, please. <coughs> what do you mean? Psh? Sneezing. Jesus. So guys, welcome back to Seven Kids and the Husband. My name is Lewis. I am the husband, and this is my beautiful wife, Andrea. She is the wife. Am I? Yes, you are. Right. Well, one of one of my many wives. We got sister wives. Y'all just haven't seen them yet. No, we don't. Let's not believe uh, okay. that. Okay. He can um, be lucky if he can handle one of me. Yeah, definitely. I don't. I don't understand how dudes can have two and three families. I can't do that. One family is enough for me, and I'm already. It's too much. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today we are doing. A reaction video and today is a little bit more serious we are going to be reacting to joiner lucas he's a rapper one of my favorite rappers he's a new rapper but he does a lot of real never heard of him you seen some of his videos i showed you he does a lot of real deep videos okay and the video that he just put out now is called i'm not a racist and we are going to react to that all right with all due respect i don't have pity for you black niggas that's the way i feel Screaming black lives matter or the black guys rather be dead beats to pay your bills Yelling nigga this and nigga that Call everybody nigga and get a nigga mad As soon as I say nigga then everyone react Wanna swing at me and call me racist cause I ain't black We pound that then Talking about slavery like you was around back then Like you was picking cotton off the fucking ground back then Like you was on the plantation getting down back then Alright uh, They got the blackest nigga see a black man aiming his gun but I'd rather see a black man claiming his son. And I don't mean just for one day and you done. I mean, you still trapped in a rut. I work my ass off and pay my taxes for what? So you can keep living on free government assistance, food stamps for your children. Black but you still trying to sell them for some weed and some liquor. But black people are the face of it. Of it. Black no, no there's a study good. that more white people live off the government than black people. Because there's more white people in the world. Or in, no. right, or in America. Yes, there's, there's more white people in America. Look at Africa. You want to talk about they got social... Andrea, you already made me. They have social media. When you say social, social media, social assistance. We talk about America. That's why black people are called a minority. Minorities are the less of the people. Alright. Fuck the world. Now I feel you on that. My boy's been back. I'm not racist. My sister's boyfriend's black. I'm not racist. My sister-in-law's baby cousin Tracy got a brother. Yeah, yeah you know right. right. I'm not racist. My, My neighbor's best black. friend is black. Yeah. There's not enough jobs for all the men in your house. Maybe we should build a wall to keep the Mexicans out. Or maybe we should send them all to the ghetto for now. I'm not racist. And I never lie, but I think it's a disconnect between your culture and mine. I worship the Einsteins, study the Steve Jobs, but you ride Tupac's dick like he was a fucking god. Oh my god! And all you care about is rapping and stunting and being ratchet, and that's the nigga within you. Music right in your brain and slowly start to convince you. Then you let your kids listen, and then the cycle continues. Blame it all on the menu. Blame it on those drinks. Blame it on everybody except for your own race. Blame it on white privileges. Blame it on white kids. And just blame it on white citizens. Aim it to vice president. I want to punch him. <laughs> really? Watch your class clown. I agree with it. I mean, I don't agree with the way you see it, but how can I put it? I'll save it. I'll save it to the end. For this type of war, I heard Eminem's rap at the awards. Who's he fighting for? Y'all can take that motherfucker too. He ain't white no more. It's like you want to be so famous, you'll do anything for attention and a little payment. I can't take you nowhere. Like, I know Joyner Lucas' voice and I know he's doing it, but do you really think, like, if I didn't tell you that, would you really think that's him saying that? Take that do rag off. Take that goat out your mouth. Why not? the pitiful stuff. No, because I know Joyner Lucas' voice and, 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 and how he looks, so it's totally different yeah, than, than that. So. Like, it's totally different than that. Nah. But I bet you he was at home fucking learning that shit like... I wish that I knew yours. I like that part. With all disrespect, I don't really like you white motherfuckers, that's just where I'm at. Screaming all lives matter is a protest to my protest, what kind of shit is that? That's true. And that's one war you'll never win. The power in the word nigga is a different sin. We shouldn't say it, but we do, and that's just what it is. But that don't mean that you can say it just cause you got nigga friends. Nigga. nigga. That word was originated for you to keep us under. And when we use it, we know that's just how we greet each other. And when you use it, we know there's a double meaning under. And even if I wasn't picking cotton physically, that don't mean I'm not infected by the history. 
My grandmama was a slave, that shit gets to me And you ain't got no motherfucking sympathy, you pussy nigga I'm sorry, you can never fail my life Trying to have faith, but I never fell alright It's hard to elevate when this country's ran by whites Judging me by my skin color and my blackness Trying to find a job, but ain't nobody call me back yet Now I gotta sell drugs and put food in my cabinet You crackers ain't slick, this is all a part of your tactics Don't talk about no motherfucking tax But I ain't making no dough You think you know everything, but you don't You wanna copy our slang and everything that we know Try to steal black culture and make it your own Whoa Fuck, I'm exhausted. I can't even drive without the cops trying to start shit. I'm tired of this systematic racism bullshit. All you do is false shit. This the shit that I'm false with. And you don't know shit about my people. That's what bothers you. You don't know about no fried chicken and no barbecue. You don't know about the two step or no loose change. You don't know about no two chains or no Kool Aid. You don't know. And even though Barack was half as black, you hated President Obama. I know that's a fact. You can't wait to get him out and put a cracker back. And then he gave us Donald Trump, and I was paid back for that. I'm not racist. I never mm. lied, but I noticed a disconnect yeah. between your culture never thought and mine. About that. Yeah. I praised Tupac like he was a fucking god. He was fighting for his life way before he fucking died, nigga, die, nigga. And all you care about is money and power and being ugly, and that's the cracker within you. Hate it all in your brain and slowly start to convince you. Then you teach it to your children until the cycle continue. Blaming on Puerto Rico, blaming on OJ, blaming on everybody except for your own race. Blaming on black niggas and blaming on black citizens. Aiming the black businesses. I ain't saying I'm innocent, but. I might be any day now, treating everybody how you want in any way how. I swear North Korea about to bomb us any day now. And now I'm ducking every time I hear a fucking play now. You know I make a lot of sense, but you just can't admit it. When Eminem went against Trump, that was the illest. Cause even though he's white, he let us know he's standing with us. I'm not racist, but I cry a lot. You don't know what it's like to be in a frying pot. You don't know what it's like to mind your business and get stopped by the cops. And I know if you about to die or not. You worry about your life, so you take mine. I love you, but I fucking hate you at the same time. I wish we could trade shoes and we could change lives so we can understand each other more, but that'll take time. I'm not racist. It's like we live in the same building, but still in the both sides. I'm not racist. But this We're gonna re react to some of his other now. videos, not today, but he has a lot of deep videos. Are you crying? Hmm? Are you no. crying? Not like I need to cry, but that's deep though. Okay guys, that was Joyner Lucas with I'm Not Racist. And me as being a resident black man, I think I should start off first. First thing, I enjoyed this video because it showed both sides of yeah. what people think or what people potentially could think. And I am a person- The drawers people put you in. The what? The drawers people stuff you in. Yes, the shelves. But um, I'm a person that I believe that any problem should be talked out. And we are living in a time now where racism is a very big subject, but people are too scared. Very big one. People are too scared to talk about it. This person, like, I would much rather know you're racist hmm. than you hide it. Like, if I know you're racist, I know, oh, I'm not going to mess with that person. I'm, I'm not going to go to that person. I'm going to just stay away from that person. But yeah. people want to hide it in fear, which, which, I, which I understand it. But I think there's a difference between being racist and being prejudiced. Hmm. Racist is... I don't like you because you're black, no matter what. Prejudice, prejudice is, oh, I've never seen a black person before, and I've seen, on the only black people I've seen is on TV. So do you really all have guns? Like, talking about it, yeah. I, I can do that. I have had conversations with people who have asked me, because we live in Germany, so I'm probably the only black American that most people here ever see. So I have gotten questions like, oh, do you really do this? Or, oh, do you really do that? And when you come to me as a respectful person with mm -hmm. who has some type of sense mm -hmm. meaning that you know you don't understand it but you want to know, learn about it then I have no problem talking and talking to you and 95% of the chance you will see I'm not like the person you've seen on TV who's shooting and selling and drugs and stuff like that but too many people are too afraid to talk about it so I think this video is I'm sorry. a few moments later thank you I <laughs> Okay, Andrea's back. She has to go take care of Mia. Um, where was I at? No, I just think that too many people are hiding behind the fact that we are not all adults and we can't talk things out. 
Hmm. Like you people, like people like me, like me too. I have my prejudice against Germans. Yeah, but and you don't talk about it because you're scared that the person don't react the way you. Yes, would. exactly, exactly. Yes, yes. Like you're scared to get punched in the face or something. Yes, it's true. But you have to find the right person. I don't think everybody like everybody on both sides. Okay, we're we're just gonna take white and black for now. But there's Asians, Turkish, there's all type of things. But we're gonna take white and black now. You have to find the right white people and the right black people to talk to about it. Yeah. You can't take somebody like me. And then some hillbilly, and then ex ex expect us to be able to talk it out because because ma maybe I'm open for it, but they're not open for it because they're not just prejudiced; they're racist. So mm -hmm. no matter what I say, no matter how much sense it makes, you're not going to change that. Um, and you have to deal with racism too because you are you are a factory for black people. You produce number one. Latinos get thrown in the same pot than black people. No, you don't. Yes, we. No, you can't do that because most Spanish people don't even like black people. So what are so what are you no, talking about? No, we don't. We don't like you all. Wow. <laughs> no, it's the truth. Like I do, but. But why? Can you can you tell me look why? Look at my family. What happened? They don't know what happened. I said it often enough, I guess. Huh? Can you? Just I'm not that? welcome in my family no more because I should have got married to a Latino. I should have picked a Puerto Rican and everything would have been fine, but I'm not so, I'm, um, I don't know, a disgrace? Yeah. Yeah. So what did you think about the video? It was deep and I see, I see that stuff through the eyes of my kids. Yeah. Because we have who deal with this every day and seven black little kids who live we live in we live in Germany I said that again but we live in Germany and 99.9% .9 of the people in Germany especially where we live at because we live in a country don't look like us like I can go weeks without seeing another black person yeah if I was to stay in my 50 mile radius yeah I can go weeks with if I was seeing a minus the people in the house because I see black people all the time <laughs> but I can go weeks without seeing another black person yeah what so, we live at is not even foreigners. No. It's, it's us and the Germans. Yes. Yeah. So my kids deal with a lot of this. Louis deal with a lot of this. And... No, I think it's different. I think it's different between me and the kids. Because kids are fucking evil. Kids will say what's ever on their mind. No, yeah. no matter what. Like, I get it now to where it might be a side eye here or mm -hmm. a joke there. But it's never direct racism. Never like, you're a nigger, fuck you, black, like I never had that. The kids have that, and I can say honestly, one of my kids got that in school with her teacher. Really? Last Ooh. year. Last year, who didn't make that grade? Oh, yeah. She refused to talk to Louis. Oh yeah, she refused to talk to me, yeah. She don't want to talk to Louis about my daughter. I won't say who and whatever, but she was suffering a lot with this teacher, and this teacher was like, this was clear as they think Crystal, yeah, what it was they have this perception of black people being poor uneducated not knowing that i have a college degree and she's going for her college degree now and not knowing that we are educated we, we probably live more educated than uh some people they respect and our kids do better than some other people who don't get looked at because they german and they just have two kids not knowing that they live in garbage and their kids starving or something yeah. It's the truth, but we always get looked at. Like, oh my God, look at them. Yeah. Mm. So, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just think that. Also, I like to say people always want to focus on how negative it is now. Technically, this is the best time to ever be a black person in America hmm. or in the world. Like, we still have our problems now. But back in the 60s, you didn't want to live back in the 60s when you couldn't even go to the same restaurant as a white person or you couldn't even sit in the back of the bus as a white person or you couldn't drink from the same um, water fountain as, as, a, um, white, as a white person. And we may say so many negative things because this is a negative situation. But on the opposite side, our kids have a lot of German friends who don't look at their race and it's just Samira is Samira. Samira is not the black girl. She barely has German friends. And, and what the fuck that got to do with anything with the video? No, I'm just saying. Her friend circle is not German. Yeah, I just seen it with a German girl. Our kids have German friends, and it's not just that Aaliyah is the is is the German. I mean, is the Aaliyah? It's not the black Aaliyah. Aaliyah is just Aaliyah. So back in the sixties, our kids could not have played with other kids who did not look like them. That's true. Back in the twenties, you weren't even able to buy anything as a black person. You were like one fourth or one third of a man. And I would have got shot. Yeah. That was that was back in the sixties. We wouldn't even be allowed to be yep. to like to like be together. So 
no matter what's going on now, which is sad, it's still good, the best time to be a black person in America or, or anywhere. But we still have a long way to go. Yeah, I can't say and that I, for Latinos. Why? It's not our best time in the States. Yeah, that's just because of Trump. Yeah. But we have to end this video now because we already had like 17 minutes. So that was our reaction to Joyner Lucas. I'm not racist. You say guys, no to racism. Say no to racism. Like racism is, I don't even understand racism. I understand being prejudiced and being able to be changed, but hating somebody for something that they can't control. Yeah. That's like saying I hate all people who have a size 11 shoe, or I hate all people who have blonde hair, or I hate all people who have a like. That's to hate somebody for something that they can't control is stupid. Yeah. I'm all for hating dumb people. Hey. But to hate somebody for something that they can't control is stupid. Um. All you gotta do is open up your eyes and learn to accept people and be willing to learn about other people who don't look like you. Talk to your black neighbor. Don't it's, say hello to your Chinese. <laughs> the fuck is this, this whatever. school program? No, it's, seriously. Like people should be more open. Yes. Talk to them. Maybe they cool. Yes. So anyway, that was our reaction video to join to join Lucas. I'm not racist. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Comment, let us know what you thought about the video below and any... How you deal with racism. Yeah, how do you deal with, with racism? Whether you're a white person who may be afraid to be considered racist because you may think certain things or say certain things or not understand certain things about another culture mm -hmm. or if you're a minority and how you deal with being a minority wherever you are. Yeah. Yeah, so drop that down in the comment below. So drop that down in the comment in the com ah. So drop that down in the comment section below. And until next video, peace out.